You know, you sure are talkative today. It's because we are able to take human lifespans for ourselves. Huh? Wait, what do you mean by that? Let's say you have a human who is due to live until the age of 60, and a god of death wrote that this person would die at 40. 60 minus 40 equals 20. Now those 20 years taken from someone in the human world are added to that god of death's life. <sighs> so it means that as long as we don't slack off, even if someone was to shoot us in the head, or stab us in the heart with a knife, a god of death cannot die. On the other hand, no matter how many names you write in your death note, your lifespan will not increase. That is the first difference between gods of death and humans who possess a death note. <laughs> That's something about Shinigami that I haven't heard before. Pretty interesting stuff. The second difference between us will probably be of even greater interest to you. Though this has less to do with lengthening life and more to do with cutting it short. What do you mean cutting it short? <laughs> Shinigami can tell what a person's name is by just looking at their face. We know instantly. And do you have any idea why? Because through a Shinigami's eyes, a human's name can be seen above their head. Not only that, we see their lifespan as well. Their name and lifespan? That's right. I'm able to see your name and lifespan right now. This is Gematria. The numbers, the letters, the words. Each one has its own value. Ancient ones. Rescue. Ghost of a man. This is how Gematria works. All these numbers go to different words. English, as for all human languages, are not human. None of this is human. It's all numbers. Numbers upon numbers upon numbers. Creating our world. Each one has a specific reason. These are our apple trees. According to my spirit, Arthur, who lived here his whole life, his family was the ones that planted these trees. And I've uh, grown quite fond of them. There was a time I used to come out here and focus on an apple. Try to make it fall off the tree from the porch. Come out here all the time and do it. When I first moved here, there were a couple snakes and they would curl up here in the sun. Little garden snakes. We're out here almost every day. And so I decided to call them Adam and Eve. It just seemed fitting. These two snakes. Right under the apple tree. That that is what I should name them. I didn't know then what I know now. <laughs> 